Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am happy to be back with another video, another makeup tutorial. My most recent video was the box of crayons review and demo. And that was a very interesting video. I guess I know that there are dupes, but I didn't think that the one I had was not real. So after filming the video, I simply just went on YouTube and, and put it in. And then there was this video, fake versus real. And I'm like, what? So when I checked it again, I realized that the, the one I had was not real. It was a dupe. So, um... Unfortunately, the video had already been uploaded and all of that, so I put in some notes for you guys, um, letting you know that this that review was based on a dupe. I still think the look turned out pretty well, but it is not the real box of crayons, so I am still searching for one, and I will do a true review on it whenever I find the real version. Um, so the real one looks like this. And then the one thing about the dupe that made me realize it was a dupe based on the video of the young lady I looked at, there was the white shade and it was written Wanite, W-N-I-T-E, what? So anyway, long story short, the, the makeup looked turned out pretty good, but the box of crayons was a fake, big old fake. But anyway, I hope you guys still enjoyed it. So today we are doing a Morphe review. You guys know that I go very hard and I've used my Morphe 350M. All the shades in this palette are really amazing. They're all matte. Um, they perform well. I have no complaints about the 350M. The M is for matte, so they're all matte. There are no shimmers. Today I'm doing another Morphe review and this is the Morphe 35V. And there is a very interesting color story here. You have shimmers you have mattes. So it looks like this, so pretty. Um, right off the bat, I will say that for some of the Morphe palettes, there are no mirrors, and I appreciate a mirror in a palette. Like, I need to see what I'm doing, but the color story is beautiful. I love the way the colors change from light to dark. There are 35 shades in there. I will insert the price below. I will just dip into some of the colors I love to do the swatches just so you guys can get an idea of what they look like and how they perform on the skin directly without a brush. So I will just do one from each row, one from each row that I like. So we'll do seven shades, um, just random shades. We have this gold. It applies beautifully. This is a nude matte. Even the mattes perform pretty well. Then we have this rose gold looking one. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. Oh, so pretty. Vibrant one over here. Let's see how that performs. Okay, so this is like a deep burgundy type of color. It looks very pretty so far. Let's try this purple down here. Very deep and purples are pretty hard to pull off. This is a deep purple, looks like that. Then we will go with a vibrant blue. Oh my gosh, I've been loving blue these days, guys. I don't know why, but the blues are beautiful. Beautiful colors. Let's do the black to see how good that one is. Oh, guys, this black is not plain. It did not come to play. Okay, so that is one from each shade. Kind of like neutral colors, I would say. Um, but so, so vibrant. I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer. So this will be a one palette tutorial. I will only use the colors from this palette. And I will first go in with a transition. You guys know the drill. Always use a transition to create a good base for the rest of the colors that you will put in. So, transition it is. I'm gonna go in with this orange shade and go right in the crease. Hopefully it is very vibrant because I'm here for it. 
punch. I'm gonna go on the lid and kind of like cut the crease some. Sometimes when I do it, it works perfectly and a lot of the times it doesn't. So I'm gonna take my time with this one. I'm gonna go right on top of it with this beautiful blue shade right here. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so pretty. So I'm just building on the color. Now that is a blue. And there's like no fallout from it, which is really nice. This is gorgeous. Oh, the color payoff is incredible. I could leave my face like this and I'd be happy. But no, we're gonna continue this look. Oh, that color is so good. I'm gonna go with this matte shade underneath my eye. I just wanted to do one color. So. I'm using the black in the palette. And I'm gonna go just right outside this oh to have that hand a little bit more. Just right here. You don't have to do this part. We're gonna apply our lashes. Okay, I'm gonna use Chestnut by MAC. I will use Hitchhike by Urban Decay for the lips. On top of that, I will go in with Chula by Kat Von D and mix it in a little bit because I want it to be more orange. I prefer that. Okay, I'm gonna go back in the Morphe palette and I'm gonna use um, this gold that I swatched earlier for the inner corner. I think it will be, oh yeah. A pop of color in the inner corner is like wool. This is the finished look. I'm gonna give you my review on the Morphe 35V. Um, I think there's a good, a great assortment of colors. Um, the ones I used, and I use a few, work perfectly on my eyes. They blend pretty well. Um, you can create so many, so many looks from this palette, and I think you would really enjoy it. For me, I would definitely recommend that you try out this palette and um, I think that for the price and the number of shadows that you're getting, you definitely um, get great value for your money. So um, I, I've always loved the one I had before and this one is just as good. 
So um, Morphe comes out with really, really good palettes. They perform like high-end shadows like the Urban Decay and the Anastasia. Definitely comparable to those. So I liked it. I love the look that I came out with. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.